In 1875, a fire started in a whiskey storehouse in Dublin, igniting 5,000 barrels of whiskey and killing 13 people. One might assume that the deaths were a result of burns, smoke inhalation or being trapped inside burning buildings that were collapsing as a result of the fire. But the real cause of death was something else. Find out more in this video. The fire began at Malone's Malt House and Storehouse on Chamber Street, where 5,000 barrels of whiskey and other spirits were being stored. As flames reached the barrels holding the liquor, they burst open. This started a chain reaction, which resulted in thousands of barrels of the highly flammable liquid exploding and sending a burning river of whiskey flowing through the streets like lava. The blazing boo spread fire to everything it touched. The animals kept by the poor locals in the area panicked and ran through the streets adding to the mayhem but also alerting the residents of the area. The Dublin Fire Brigade arrived under the leadership of Captain James Robert Ingram who had been a fire officer in the New York Fire Department and was renowned for his unconventional strategies to control fires. On one occasion, he had ordered his men to resist putting out a fire on a blazing ship that was uncontrollably approaching the Dublin harbor and asked the navy to sink it instead, saving the harbor from catching fire. Ingram knew that to pour water on the fire would be disastrous as the whiskey would float on top of it and instead help spread the fire throughout the city. He sent for soldiers and ordered them to pull up paving stones and pour a mixture of sand and gravel on the whiskey. But he soon realized that wouldn't be enough as the whiskey started to seep through the sand. So he had another idea. Horse manure. Horse-drawn carriages were very common in that era and the horse poop was picked up and taken to depots around the city. Ingram ordered for it to be shoveled back onto the streets to form dams. As the burning whiskey met the damp manure, it was soaked up and the fire slowly began to subside. Once the roads were cleared, Ingram started working on dousing the fire in the burning settlements on the roads. While considerable structural damage occurred, miraculously not one person died in the flames or from smoke inhalation. But as the city burned, crowds gathered around the edges of the flaming Booze River and attempted to capture the free drink in pots, pans, hats and boots. The same whiskey that was running through the streets and had dirt, water from the fire hoses Horse poop and effluence from the roads mixed with it. Imagine being engulfed in a liquid inferno and your first thought is to not let the whiskey go waste. But drinking the dirty whiskey landed multiple people in hospitals. Some even lost their eyesight and some went into coma. The fire proved to be one of the most destructive in the history of Dublin and it did little to douse the stereotype of the Irish loving their drinks. While this disaster affected all of Dublin, a few positives came out of the fire. Distillers created more safeguards, helped legitimize the Dublin Fire Brigade and even formed their own fire departments to help guarantee a disaster on this scale would never occur again. Thank you for watching and if you found the video interesting, hit the like button and consider subscribing to Seanvolution for more such content.